continue. Thank you, Takur. Go ahead, Sean. Hold on, Sean. one moment. Um, I have a question. I had heard or watched a video from Prime Creator that there's in September we're going to be coming to a new Earth, and that the present Earth is going to turn into a star. Is that true? In some ways, the energy will be more star-like on the Earth because the energy of the Earth will be emitting and not... Hmm. the gra You see, Earth is noted for its gravity, its pull. It's bringing things down to it. But now the energy that is coming to Earth will be pushing also out. It will be more of a balance what I was talking about. There will be more of a balance between what is going out and what is coming in, and that is more star-like, because stars emit their energy. They do not pull their energy. They, of course, have a gravitational field, but it is moving out away from them. They are emitting their enlightenment, so to speak, whereas the Earth was, the gravity was pulling things into it, and that is not always a good thing to have when you're always just pooling. Now there will be a greater balance between Mother Earth and the universe, so to speak. So yes, in that sense, they, it will be a sun. It will be glowing in a greater way. And I had heard that the ones that are ready are going to a new DNA Earth it will be like on our own. The new DNA, this is part of what I was talking about, the balance. The new DNA is a greater balance, a greater understanding of who you are. That telepathy is part of who you are. And in that telepathy, moderation is important because you will be able to understand each other the energy of each other better. If you are polarized and you meet someone, you will not be able to understand what they are feeling. But if you are balanced, you will be able to interact together in the, in the telepathy that is coming. Do you understand that? Mm -hmm. That is why I'm talking about a greater balance. So that is a good question. And it tells, lets me tell about the balance even in a greater way. Okay. So that is does that answer your yes, question? Yes, it does. So I, I am looking for you to all be in that meditative balance because the energy is important. I must speak about that as much and get that across to as many people as possible. Also, the blood moon is the strongest and most powerful blood moon that the earth has seen in centuries. Centuries. Because of the entering of the age of Aquarius because of Rosh Hashanah, the eclipse, the blood moon, all the energies that are moving and with the age of Aquarius are new energies for Mother Earth and that is the sun-like energies that you are talking about and the glowing of the Earth will become greater because when emitting energies you see the, the earth will look like a sun from other places in the in the solar system. But this new earth, the, the dark ones or the negative energies won't be able to survive on it, right? Is that kind of Not true. No? The dark energies will be able to survive on it because they have free will. And if they are able to, if they are strong enough to, they will survive. During this free will, they will not be happy. And that's why the negativity will be stronger, because they'll be agitated and brought back. But there will be some entities of darkness that will leave. I told you that many are moving away. Mm -hmm. Many are moving away, but those that are very strong will want to keep control of what they have. Okay. They want to control what they have. And so you will see them fighting stronger in a, a negative way. But they will not leave because they have free will too and they are not going to be defeated mm. that is they are stubborn and but the weaker of the the negativities will move away they just can't deal with it so would it be helpful if we just send them love then the ones that are you not that strong? is the perfect thing to do okay. that is the perfect thing okay. to do now is 
I know that you understand what I'm saying about the balance and about the energies. What, what is happening here today is very important. And I know that you sense that. The, the energies have already are ramping up. They're already started. They're already in action. They're already starting to flow. It's like they're, they're coming, they're, they'll come into their fullness on the blood moon. And also the, cha the change of energy from Tibetan to Peruvian energy is already starting, but that's from the 19th to the 27th. Nine and one is ten is at the beginning. Then there's nine days in between, and 27 is a nine, and that is a finishing date, and that is the blood moon. Do you think that's a coincidence? No. Absolutely <laughs> not. And today, and today, today is the 19th. I do realize that. <laughs> Thanks so much. And this is the beginning of the energy exchange between that pull at those areas on the earth and you will feel that energy getting stronger each day for the next nine days and then we'll have the blood moon which is a very powerful blood moon on that day the energies will increase and the age of Aquarius will begin at least that's what you call it And with the age of Aquarius, Aquarius is an air sign, and so energy in the air and a water bearer, energy in the water, you will see that the dolphins and the whales will become more active and more communicative. Scientists will be bedazzled by what they are learning from them at this time because they are a collector of light that hold light onto the planet and bring light communications across the ocean as you are connected one to another the dolphins and whales will bring that connection to other lands easily they bring in light from other areas of the universe as well from the Andromeda and Pleiadian whale and dolphin alliance and they do have a ship within your space and it is working it is a very large ship as you know filled with water but they are very different colors and they wear clothing to meet with other delegates that can understand them so if you have a dream or a vision of a dolphin or a whale that has different colors on it, that is their clothing. They do paint themselves with different colors as to be socially accepted by other species, as not to appear to be naked and to be intelligent and to give them a protocol that is acceptable for them. They are very high intelligence. Their language is trinary. With every sound emittance comes different layers of tonality. And in this layers of tonality you will find sentences, not just one word. And that is why they were never to be understood until now. This knowledge will come forth that they are speaking many words with one sound and that sound mutates and brings in exactly what words they need to be spoken because they speak it in a way that they know how it will mutate inside the water and it will actually continue out the words will continue into the the sentence that they need to say or paragraph so one emittance of sound is not just one word it is many many Thank is there you, any Tara. more questions? Yes, Sean is next. Sean. 